My name is Cody Erickson, and this is a presentation from Studies Weekly. I really can't take credit for the genius of our product. It was something that was um, conceived by my father-in-law out of necessity for his classroom. And then 18 years ago when I got involved, we just started hiring more teachers and bringing on more states and more publications. Instead of a, a thick textbook that's impossible to get through in the school year, we cut it down to 32 weekly lessons. It's just not intimidating, it's engaging, it's fun. Give a kid a choice between a textbook and Studies Weekly, and we've done this, and they choose Studies Weekly 100% of the time. Every word in the publication is also online. They click on the articles, we read the articles to them. We've paid actors to read something like 38,000 articles in Studies Weekly newspapers. We have something like 23,000 illustrations of history. We have more than 1,200 documentaries that are one to three minutes long. We have related media, we have interviews with World War II vets and WASP pilots, Rosie to Riveters. It creates an urgency to get this content in front of students. The future's awesome. We love it. I mean, who wouldn't be excited about being part of something that could make such a difference in the world? So Ed is right. <clears throat> this is Paul Thompson, the fourth grade school teacher who created his own curriculum. Um, we're in a whole bunch of schools, a whole bunch of districts now, and we do this for the teachers. We want them to plan less, teach more, we know engagement is key. We've got to have the resources to open the child's heart so that they can, we can have their minds. Our print publications are very simple. They all contain um, the primary source images. You can mark them up. You can cut them. Whatever you want to do, they're consumable. You get one every year. Please don't let your students put it on their face. You might, want to, you might get a call from mom and dad. <laughs> um, we have a reward system within uh, the product itself to keep the kids engaged and motivated. They absolutely love this. Uh, Revere the Rat, Crossword Puzzles, Miss Build Game. <clears throat> we try to focus on the balanced literacy. This is my son Dylan who's a 504 or IEP, struggled. His teacher put into effect the balanced literacy and that uh, creative collaboration, communication, critical thinking components and really helped him. Um, now if you know what this standard is, I'll give you a digital $100 bill. <laughs> if you don't, here it is. There's the, uh, there's the uh, recipe to it. So <clears throat> I want to jump into this, kind of show you a little bit more about Studies Weekly and the product. Very quick demo here. You'll be able to log in and register yourself as a teacher, but with the adoption, you'll just put in FL Adoption and Demo. Once in, you're going to see these, re, uh, these publications. Scroll down, and the one I'm showing you today is actually the fourth grade. You can go look at the fourth grade, and I'm going to click on this and show you a little more. So once I click on that, it's going to bring up all of the 32 units that are part of that fourth grade edition. You scroll down here and see all of the uh, units in play. At the very bottom are resources for those units. You can pro pull up the uh, uh, curriculum standards and where they align for the map. Every weekly unit you can uh, pick on any one of the standards itself. See how many weekly units are taught in. We've got all the standards that are covered with the NGSS as well as ELA. You can actually also see the vocabulary words, building academic vocabulary. We've also got some high-level uh, differentiated instruction, best practices. And then we've got high-level questioning, uh, complexity levels, uh, level of relevance. It, that's a big deal as well. It's all there in the teacher supplement to help you. So you can use that. Once we're done there, I wanted to kind of go in and show you a little bit. If you wanted to drag any one of these weeks up and down, you can to, sh to match your curriculum map. Maybe your maps are a little bit different than what we have with the scope. But you can adjust it there, and everything adjusts on the student end as well. So when we look at this, look at the test, the edit test, uh, standards as well. We're going to go into this week, and I'm going to click on it, and we're going to go right to the weekly unit. It's going to take you to the article unit, and if you scroll down, you'll be able to see more resources that are part of that. But look at the coins down there at the bottom. This is Revere the Rat. 
And there, again, we're keeping those kids motivated to be able to want to come in here. If I scroll up here and I press play. Civil rights are the rights of people to be treated fairly no matter who they are. And then we've got the point and click. Ah. Uh, a boycott is when a group of people decides not to use a company or service until something changes. Montgomery. Using. So the word boycott was actually uh, building academic vocabulary, and that was in there as well. So point and click. Bonus features at the very top right. If you click on that, it's going to bring up more information in reference. This is a Rosa Park video. One December day in 1955, Rosa Parks climbed aboard a city bus. At that time, the first four rows of all the buses in Montgomery were reserved for white people. So I'm going to show you a little bit more uh, stuff about Rosa in just a little bit. But under each video or primary source, you can actually look at the, the closed caption. We've also got different languages that you can look at it, the transcription that you can read it. So we've tried to really include everything. Leveled questions are at the bottom of each one of the primary sources. They can go in and answer them. And then they have the reward system with Revere. They can buy pop machines and bowling alleys and all kinds of things. But here's a really neat thing here. I want you guys to see. On the evening of December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks had just ended a long shift at a department store in Montgomery, Alabama. Her feet were tired and she was anxious to relax on the bus ride home. Parks took her seat on the bus in the colored section, but after a few stops, the white section of the bus became full. The bus driver had to move the white section sign a row back and told Parks to move, but she refused and was arrested. Though 15-year-old Claudette Colvin did the same thing earlier that year, this time the community created a nationwide awakening to the many civil rights issues that were plaguing the country at the time. Joanne Robinson, Alabama State University professor and member of the Women's Political Council, circulated flyers calling for a boycott of the bus system on December 5th when Rosa Parks would be brought to court. African American leaders, ministers, and newspapers gave their support and the news spread. Approximately 40,000 African American bus riders boycotted the buses that day. Later that day, black leaders met to form the Montgomery Improvement Association, or the MIA. They elected 26-year-old Martin Luther King Jr. as its president and decided to continue the boycott until the city met its demands. In total, the boycott lasted 381 days. To keep the boycott going, black leaders organized carpools. The city's African-American taxi drivers only charged 10 cents for African-American riders, the same price as bus fare. Regular mass meetings kept African-American residents energized around the boycott. It would take many years and the sacrifices of countless people for there to be real change in America. The civil rights movement was a turning point in American history and helped define a generation. Rosa Parks is often called the first lady of civil rights and the mother of the freedom movement but she stood on the work and support of a large civil rights community. Today, you can visit the location of Rosa Parks' historic arrest. The Rosa Parks Museum and Library is located on the campus of Troy University in Montgomery, Alabama. Just outside the museum is a plaque in the spot where she was arrested. As you explore this area, you can really feel the important history that happened here. So for me, the most important thing is, are your kids learning? How do you know that they're learning? Well, we can assess them. There's a way of doing that. We have an amazing assessment uh, program. You can actually go in, create your own test. You can edit a test. We actually have about 10 to 15 questions we put in there ourselves. They include all the standards that are aligned to the questions. Um, there's different types of question types. You can randomize the test. You can activate the test. It gives you all kinds of different ways or um, questions that you can ask. You can also um, uh, 
look at the different types of questions, like there's matching, and then we've got the associated standard as well. <clears throat> you also, when you're measuring benchmarks or you're wanting to look at things in real-time data, you can look at per child uh, where they're engaging, uh, what level of engagement they are. This is the student's end. What they'll see every time you activate a test, this is what they'll see on their end on where they need to go and, re and read. Um, you can search anything you want up in the search bar, top right. And I'd admonish you to do this. Try this out. This is the WASP. This is actually my wife's grandma. Who was a wasp pilot. I was, and then I was assigned to so go, go to, and uh, uh, look at these yourself and search for them. Also, uh, we're not just social studies. I have a dream that one day. This nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Civil rights are the rights of people to be treated fairly no matter who they are. So we just want to provide you with the tools and the resources that you need. We're not just social studies. We are the tool to help you. Uh, Self-explanatory here. Implementation, how that looks, we've got plenty of that for you. We're never going to leave you. We're here for you. We want you to succeed because we know that your children will. They, they engage with this material. And so we, besides it just being social studies, we want to provide the tool for your children to assess well.